right. Welcome to You Teach Me. Right, we have Mr. Creaser here. Yes, big yes. Boy producer, big boy producer. What's going on? Um, right, we've only got nine minutes and 30 seconds. We're going to be giving you seven tips on how to make drill music. Is that right, Chris? Yeah, what's going on, everyone? My name is Mr. Creaser. And thanks, Antonio, for inviting me. I just quickly want to show you some of um, the tips um, I'm using for to make drill beats. And basically, I want to start with the melody. Where are you now, Chris? Quickly. Oh yeah, I'm from. I'm now in Bulgaria. That's where I'm from originally. And I'm in London, so we're doing this completely online, which is really good. Jeez. So excited to be here now and to show you some of um, the way I do the beats. Okay, so let's go through the tips that we get to, we're going to do. So seven tips on drill music. First of all, tip number one, how do you start this, Chris? Yeah, so basically, I, as I said, yeah, I start with the melody. Um, normally, I'm looking for that kind of um, slightly uh, dark piano sound and uh, just trying to make it more... Um, wavy and more more groovy. So I've just started with these chords here. Let me play it for you. Yes. So in order to make the sound of, of uh, this piano. Um, in the instrument, so I'm using a Logic Instrument, Stanway Piano. In the instrument, I've, um, I've given a lot of attack. So you can hear there is, um, there is a high attack on the piano and I've put a little bit glide with the pitcher as well, which what it does, yeah, it just is gliding it just about a note higher yeah. and that's how it makes this this kind of wave. Okay, so you use the glide, the glide in the picture to make a bit of a wave with the style of piano. Yeah, exactly. It's more more flowing, isn't it? Okay. O also, I've um, given a little bit of drive just to give that um, you know that frequencies that are not always there for, uh, when you mix in. And um, this is my chords. And then I've added another melody with a piano, which is a very simple melody as well. Let me play it together with the first piano. This is two pianos playing together now. Um, yeah, the way I've mixed two pianos, just so they can dif uh, differentiate yeah. from yeah. one another, is um, I've added this, um, this filter EQ. This is the second piano, so it's going for only the mids, as you can see. No low end, no high end. Just so it can, uh, sounds a little bit like megaphone, that's what the preset is called as well. Oh, uh, okay. So this is about the the melody after after i've done the melody tip number two yeah tip number two is after the melody i go into um because it's drill music i go into snares because the snares or the hi-hats they've got this rhythm that are very typical for the drill sound let me show you my snare yeah so it looks like this is um very up, up tempo going snare with um, a lot of velocity going on as well. So it sounds something like this. Um, what I've done to it is um, I've added this glitch machine which um, reverse just the fourth bar of the of the loop and makes it um, makes it basically just going into the next next bar really nice. Yeah, 
That's a nice little tip, that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It gives a nice groove, and um, if I play it together with the piano, it will sound like this. Um, this was the drill snare, like this. So basically, the way I do my uh, drums are separate tracks on contact. This kick I'm using is Metro Booming Kick number three. Okay. I've put um, some Waves EQ, some compressor. I've got ad um, adaptive limiter as well. And the snare I'm using is uh, basically two layers of snares. One is Metro Booming Snare 11, and I've got another clap just to add that, um, that different sound to it. And obviously I've got compressor, EQ, and a reverb. That should double up the snare just to make it thicker and snap more. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because um, obviously everyone knows that uh, Metro Booming Snare, that sounds like this. One sec. But obviously because it's um, used so much already, I add this extra layer to it, just like a, another clap. And it sounds like this. You oh, can, yeah, you can really feel up. stronger, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, much stronger. Yeah. It's very sharp. I've got a high attack as well. Definitely, definitely. So and then cut through the mix. Yeah, it's very important for the um, kick and the snare to cut to stand on top of the mix because that's what uh, basically make it, make you move, isn't it? Yeah. And um, let me show you the whole drum set, the way it sounds. Okay, so the way I make um, the drum kit sound as a whole, um, I add this uh, fat filter parallel compressor on top of the whole kit. So basically every single channel I've sent through a bus and on that bus um, I use the parallel compressor plugin with um, high threshold compressor. And that what it makes the sound as a whole makes the sound really um, as a, as a one whole, isn't it? Okay, so you're gluing everything together there, like you said. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, the parallel compressor basically makes that whole um, new sound. If you know what I mean, it makes the um, very compressed and hard kicking drums in the in the whole kick. Yeah, which is what you hear so often these days with the production of the drill music. Definitely, you can hear it in drill. You can hear a lot in hip hop trap as well. And um, next, what I add to the track just to add this um, different flavor. Um, so it has to be the typical um, gunshot. I've got female box shot, mm -hmm. I've got trap bell, and I've got triangle percussion. And a crush. As you can hear, the gunshot is um, having this delay. So it's typical um, half note delay. And together with the whole beat, that all sounds like this.
day when we so go into the. You may need yeah. to have space in the church choir in that last section where it dropped, yeah? And oh, that... yeah, the church choir, yeah. Um, this is like a backing, uh, backing vocal, just uh, it's coming in on the, on the choruses. And the way I've made this sound is um, using Logic Church Choir. And I've added some saturation. I use the saturation knob on, uh, from uh, SoftTube, just a little bit, to add that extra crispiness. Mm -hmm. I've used uh, Beat Crusher distortion, but just a very little, just about 20% of it. And um, it's giving this a little bit uh, robotic sound to it. And also I've used um, Glitch Machine, I've used Delay as well. Mm. The, um, the Glitch Machine effect I've used is um, this stutter that makes it come in and out in, in, inside the groove, so it's very moving. Let me play the sound on its own. Okay. It's uh, pretty it's much only for avians, isn't it? Yeah, but it's got a groove to it as well, which backs up the rest of the groove of the track. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I've made sure I've used cent uh, wave center as well, just to put it as far to the sides as possible. I don't want it going through the center of the mix, mm -hmm. just because um, I keep the central only for the um, kick and the bass. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it for the chorus bit. When I move to the, to the verse, I've put a bongo percussion, just so it swings up the groove a little bit. Can we hear it on its own? Can we hear it on, on its own, the bongo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because it's pretty much really far in the mix, yeah, it's not supposed to be um, up front, but yeah. this house sounds on its own. It's a little bit bongos in there. Okay, cool, yeah, just to, just to keep the rhythm flowing for a little, mm -hmm. little triggers as well. Like, just keep the rhythm yeah, exactly. And um, yeah, um, a nice way I like to do my transitions from section to section is to use a lifter. Um, basically, the lifters I use, yeah, uh, native instruments, Ryzen, um, uh, Ryzen hit. Um, so the native instrument Ryzen hit, you got. Um, you got all these lifters. Basically, this is the whole instrument here. Um, just a moment. Yeah, this is how uh, Rising Heat looks like. So you got all loads of different lifters. You can um, um, modify them the way you like as well. And the ones I use are normally really um, short ones, just for the transition from uh, one section to another. So the one I've got is this one. But literally just for the transition, but it adds a really nice, um, really nice um, dynamics to it. or the end of the section as well. So that all the next section nicely, doesn't it? Mm, 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 mm. It's very important to make um, the transition smooth as well, just so you don't break the groove. Yeah. Um, always trying to keep the whole, um, keep the groove throughout the whole song. And, um, Going through the last section, I've put some um, I've put some uh, filter, high-end filter. So 
after the verse, it goes into the... This last section, I've added some um, extra hi hats. These hi hats I've used uh, from a drum machine inside Logic. So this is the um, Logic drum machine. I'm using only the hi hats from them, and they're sounding like this. Um, what I've done to them is they've got an auto filter. This auto filter is making. Um, basically going from left to right is just like the panning band pass and um, it really adds to the groove as well so i've got this hi-hat i've got low hi-hat i've got a fast hi-hat and i've got snare that are basically my percussion section and then together the whole kit will sound like this So just for the final section, I've added this um, I had to give a little bit of difference to the track and also add to the groove, you know. And the last uh, final section is like, just like outro beat. No, that was really good, man. So yeah, cool, man. So you, a lot of your track is mainly a lot of drums and it's a lot of hard bass in the, initially, isn't it? That's what you've got to really nail down first. Well, not first, but it seems like uh, a lot of the song is that, would you say? Definitely, that? definitely. I would say the melody is very important. I like starting from the melody, but what I really focus on is the drums because um, dream genre, they, they appreciate from the other genres mainly from its groove, from its drums, and they're very specific as well. So I like to highlight on the on the bass and the drums definitely. Brilliant. And uh, so, Chris, Mr. Chris, so tell us where we can find your music and all your stuff. What? Uh, out yeah, man, you can find me on SoundCloud, SoundCloud.com um, forward slash Mr. Creaser. And um, you can find me on Facebook as well as Mr. Chris. Uh, I like um, basically the beats I do, um, all different genres. I do drill, I do uh, grime, I do trap. I like Afro beats as well. So yeah, man, go and check it out. Thanks for inviting me as well. No, thank you very much for coming along, Chris and uh, Mr. Chris. Uh, and if you need any more tutorials, anything else you'd like to, uh, you teach me to get investigated into, uh, give us a quick message or you can email us at you teach me, that's W, the letter U T E A C H M I at gmail.com. And um, thank you very much for joining us this week. <laughs>